Hi guys, welcome to ASA Technical. In this video, I am going to show you how to fix this PC doesn't meet Windows 11 system requirements. Here's why the processor is not supported for this version of Windows 11. Don't worry, here's a step-by-step -step guide to fix the processor not supported error using the Windows registry. So let's get started. First, right click on Windows 11 ISO file and click on mount. After that, go to Windows search and open the registry editor. Now, expand HK local machine directory. Next, expand system directory. Next, expand setup. After that, MO setup. Right click in the right hand panel and select new. Then DOR 32 bit value. Name the new value as allow upgrades with unsupported TPM or CPU. Then right click on your created value. Click on modify and set its value data to 1. Save your changes and close the registry editor and restart your computer. After rebooting, right click on Windows 11 ISO file. And click on mount. Now go to the mounted Windows 11 ISO and launch the windows 11 setup.exe file. Allow the user account control to proceed. Select change how setup downloads updates. Note, you may need to temporarily skip this step and disconnect the internet connection if needed. However, here I'll be select recommended option. Keep an eye on your screen where you will see the magic. Well, as you can see, there is no more error message about system requirement. It's mean our Windows 11 is now completely ready to upgrade. Click accept to agree the license terms. And now you can turn on your internet connections for necessary updates, drivers and optional features. Keep all these settings to default and you don't need to change any settings from here. Just click on install to continue the upgrade procedure. Please keep patience while Windows 11 is upgraded on your computer. The upgrade process might take some time, so be patient. Your computer will restart several times during upgrade process. And please do not interrupt the upgrade until it finishes. After the upgrade is complete, Update your drivers and install any necessary software updates to ensure optimal performance and compatibility. So I hope this guide was helpful for you. If you have any question or any advanced guide then please let us know. Please like, comment, share. We need your support. And guys please don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.